So, what are you afraid of? Have you ever had one of those days when everything goes wrong? You know, the kind of day where your toast is burnt and on top of that you're out of butter and somebody's finished off the OJ. So you toss the toast and head for work and stop for a breakfast sandwich and your credit card won't work. And you used the last of the free-floating change in the car yesterday to get a soda. What are the odds? It does happen, but it's not going to end you. It might make you a little wary, but you probably won't be taking any death-defying chances today, as the odds are obviously not in your favor. However, for many of those things we fear, have nightmares about, and and might worry, might actually take us out, well, the likelihood is actually quite low. And, like that burnt toast in the morning, here are a few other things that probably won't unalive you. Here are three stories. Three guys that have truly interesting luck when it comes to some of the scarier ways we might meet our maker. Let you decide if their luck was good or bad. Eric. A new story published in 2013 tells of a 40-year-old at the time man who ran into a bit of trouble while vacationing with his family in the Bahamas. At the time of his interview, Eric Norrie was recovering in a Tampa, Florida hospital from a rather nasty shark attack he'd experienced while enjoying or at least trying to enjoy, the beach. Eric's prognosis was good. The surgery to repair his leg had been successful. And nothing like this had ever happened to him before. Still, he was restless and ready to get back into life. And uh, and when I say nothing like this had happened to him before, I'm, I'm being very specific. As in, Eric hadn't been attacked by a shark before. But... Up to that time in his life, he had been struck by lightning and bitten by a rattlesnake. He had also been violently assaulted while vacationing in two foreign countries, as he had bitten, scratched, and punched in the face, not once, but twice, by monkeys. Eric was obviously still alive in spite of his potentially lethal experiences with a rattler, a shark, lightning, and two violent primates. Despite his impressive personal survival record, he's probably not the guy you'd want to go on vacation with. Dylan. Eric Nori, however, is not the only person out there in the world that seems prone to a dance on the dicey side. In 2018, a story from the BBC appeared telling the story of a 20-year-old, at the time, man by the name of Dylan McWilliams. Dylan, vacationing in Kauai, Hawaii, was recovering from a shark bite. Dylan said he was swimming just offshore and felt something hit his leg, stating, I saw the shark underneath me, I started kicking it, I know I hit it at least once, and swam to the shore as quickly as I could. And this was not the only close encounter Dylan had with apex predators. One previous encounter happened in July of the same year, while backpacking with a few fellow adventurers in the mountains of Colorado. Early one morning, Dylan was rather rudely awakened out of his sleeping bag by a large black bear. Seems while he was sleeping, he was discovered by the bear, who decided to try a taste of the back of Dylan's head. Now, fully awake, with his skull in the jaws of a bear, and one leg pinned to the ground by a bear paw, he started screaming and poking the bear in the eye, until the bear let go. According to his companions, who were also now awake, the bear finally let go of Dylan's head. The bear, frustrated by the failed encounter, did a heavy two-pod stomp onto Dylan's body and left. But that was not all for Dylan McWilliams. He had the shark and the black bear on his resume, and he also had a rattlesnake. Three years earlier, while hiking in the deserts of Utah, he came across a coiled-up rattler and got bit. 
The snake had only injected a little venom, so he was just sick for a few days. Dylan faced mortality from three things humans instinctively fear. A shark, a bear, and a rattlesnake. So far, he is still alive. What are the chances of that? Roy. And uh, then there's this guy, Roy Sullivan. Roy was a parks ranger in the state of Virginia. He didn't have death-defying encounters with bears, sharks, or rattlesnakes. He was simply struck by lightning. Seven times during his career. And he lived. Although he did lose a toenail or two and burned and singed off some of his hair and picked up a few new scars and ruined a few pairs of boots and a hat or two. <laughs> Not the kind of guy you'd want to be near when uh, the sky gets a little cloudy. And really, what are the chances? Allow me to present a few numbers that might help add some perspective to all this rather unlikely close call living. The odds, the chances, and risks. The chances of being struck by lightning are 1 in 15,300. And only a fraction of those strikes will be fatal. The odds of being bitten by any venomous snake, including rattlers, is 1 in 40,965 and a small fraction of these bites will be fatal. The odds of being attacked by a bear are 1 in 2.1 million. You can certainly increase the chances of being attacked by spending a lot of time in the bush in Alaska. And again, not every bear attack is fatal. The chances of being attacked and bitten by a shark are 1 in 3.75 million. And a large number of these are also survivors. And finally, the chances of being struck by lightning seven times are almost incalculable. If you wanted to write it down, it would be one in another one followed by 28 zeros. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> so, are these three guys lucky or unlucky? Well, there are potentially many little outsized nuggets of wisdom from these shocking true tales. But for now, may I suggest just this one? Here's an answer from our brief examination of the risk of moving on from this portal coil due to a face-to-face -face encounter with a nightmare scenario. The real scary stuff we seem to fear as a society, many of those things don't happen that often. The worldwide numbers prove it. Venomous snake bites of all types take about 100,000 per year. Lightning strikes between 6 and 24,000 per year. Sharks extinguish about 10 lives per year. Bears less than 4 per year. But the deadliest creature, the simple mosquito, spreads disease that takes over 1 million per year. Based on the odds, using a basic mosquito repellent is dramatically more likely to save you than shark repellent. But the story of survival against the odds, that's what gets our attention. A person is much more likely to pass because of a bee sting, a simple trip and fall, or taking the wrong medication. To say nothing of a car accident, heart disease, cancer, or even a simple case of the flu. I believe it is important to note that in the stories of these three, shall we call them survivors and not victims, they each declared they would continue on with being active and busy and doing the stuff they loved, swimming, playing with snakes, <laughs> trekking around the globe, or just going to work in the mountains. So here's the else. Wash your hands wear sunscreen and mosquito repellent, eat well, and exercise. It's not the exotic stuff that is most likely to get you. And that's it, an ounce submitted for your consideration.
Well, thanks for watching. We appreciate that you took the time. And since you've taken that much time, why not take just a second longer and hit that like button or the subscribe button or share it with a friend. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks.